Hello. I wish to introduce you to your new waste dewatering and drying equipment to be used as sludge control for the sewage treatment unit. This sludge drying equipment is installed beside your sewage treatment unit. I want you to follow me through a discovery tour of the workings of your new equipment. This is important information for you. This is the slurry feed valve. This controls the flow of the slurry from the sludge holding tank on the sewage treatment unit. In this chamber, the slurry is dosed with a chemical to assist in clarification through this inlet and this settle a drive. The operation of this equipment allows the slurry to stand and clarify in the settling tank for eight hours. During this period, the sludge separates from the water or filtrate, leaving the sludge at the bottom of the cone-shaped settling tank and the filtrate at the top. After this settling period, the automatic operation of the equipment resumes the cycle and opens this filtrate outlet valve. The clear water filtrate is drained by gravity to the sump for return to the sewage treatment unit. After the clear water filtrate is drained from the settling tank, the automatic control activates this sludge discharge valve, opening and allowing the sludge to discharge through the valve onto the endless filter belt into this holding and concentration area. As the sludge is deposited on the endless filter cloth, the dewatering process commences with filtrate passing through the filter cloth and collected in the filtrate tray under the filter cloth, leaving behind on the surface of the filter cloth the sludge content of the slurry. The filtrate is drained from the collection tray by this outlet, which is connected to the effluent collection tank for later return to the sewage treatment unit. Action. The sludge remains in this concentration area for the next cycle of the dewatering process. And before the next slurry deposit, the belt moves on, leaving a new cleared area for the slurry discharge. This process is then repeated, moving the dried sludge through a solar drying area until the dried sludge is deposited into a sludge holding bin for later disposal. This disposal must be to a registered effluent disposal area or disposed of in a manner as set out in your certificate of registration under the section disposal of sludge. First image shows the site installation of Cobalt Plus 10 in Australia. Second image is another view of the same installation. Third image shows fresh sludge fed on Cobalt Plus 10. In the fourth image, partially dewatered sludge is seen. Fifth image is a finally dewatered sludge coming out of Cobalt Plus 10. Such dewatering is unachievable in any of the contemporary dewatering mechanisms with such simplicity. <laughs>